Samsung is preparing something big with the Galaxy S26 series, and the Exynos 2600 processor is at the center of attention. On paper, this chip sounds almost perfect. It is expected to be the world's first smartphone processor built on a 2 nanometer process, while most flagship phones in late 2025 are still using 3 nanometer chips. A smaller process usually brings big advantages, so it is natural to ask a simple question. If the Exynos 2600 is really this powerful, why is Samsung not using it in every Galaxy S26 model? A 2 nanometer chip can fit more transistors into a smaller area. This usually means better performance, lower power consumption, and improved heat control. In daily use, this can translate into faster app launches, smoother animations, better gaming performance, and longer battery life. Phones with 3 nanometer processors are already powerful, but a well-made 2 nanometer chip could feel more efficient and stable during long usage. On the surface, the Exynos 2600 looks like a clear upgrade and a strong reason to go all in. However, Samsung is not rushing, and the reason comes down to past experience, user trust, and business risk. For many years, Samsung has followed a split strategy. Some regions receive Exynos, powered Galaxy phones, while others get Snapdragon versions. Europe and a few other markets usually see Exynos models, while the US and China almost always get Snapdragon. This helps Samsung reduce its dependence on outside suppliers and save money on licensing. But this strategy also created a long and heated debate among users. Snapdragon gained a strong fan base for a reason. Older Exynos chips often struggled with overheating, performance drops, and weaker efficiency compared to their Snapdragon rivals. During heavy gaming or long tasks, performance would throttle, phones would get hot, and battery life would suffer. This was frustrating for users who paid premium prices but felt they were getting a weaker device just because of where they lived. That reputation damaged the Exynos name badly. Even when Samsung improved later chips, many users had already lost trust. Once a bad image sticks, it is very hard to remove. Now the Exynos 2600 is being presented as a fresh start. It is expected to use a 2 nanometer process along with gate, all around transistor technology. This design allows much better control over power flow inside the chip, which helps improve efficiency and reduce heat. Samsung has already used this technology in smaller chips, but applying it to a flagship smartphone processor is a much bigger challenge. Samsung is also changing how the chip is cooled. A new packaging method called heat pass block moves the memory away from the processor. This creates space for a copper heat sink to sit directly on the chip. Heat can escape faster, leading to better thermal control. Samsung claims this could improve heat management by up to 30% compared to older Exynos designs. If these claims hold true, they directly solve the biggest problem Exynos chips have faced in the past. If performance stays strong without overheating or throttling, the Exynos 2600 could finally prove that Samsung has fixed its long-standing issues. So why not use it everywhere? The main reason is risk. Samsung cannot afford another major chip failure. Many users already feel that recent Galaxy upgrades have been too small, especially when compared to fast-moving Chinese brands. In this situation, betting the entire Galaxy S26 LUN up on a brand new 2 nanometer chip would be extremely risky. Manufacturing is another challenge. New chip processes are very difficult to scale. Even if the Exynos 2600 performs well in tests, producing enough units for global demand is not guaranteed. Low yields or production delays could hurt availability and launch plans. Qualcomm offers a stable and proven supply chain, which reduces uncertainty. In markets like the US and China, expectations are even higher. Snapdragon is seen as the gold standard there. If an Exynos model performs slightly worse, online criticism and negative reviews could dominate the conversation and damage the entire Galaxy S26 launch. That is why Samsung is playing it safe. By keeping Snapdragon chips especially in the Galaxy S26 Ultra, Samsung protects its most visible model. At the same time, Exynos can be used in other models and regions to prove itself in real-world conditions. Trust takes time to rebuild. Even if the Exynos 2600 is excellent, Samsung needs a full generation of smooth performance before doubts disappear. Until then, using both Exynos and Snapdragon is a careful but smart strategy.